Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, recently, the Supreme Court upheld uh, Donald Trump's travel ban to certain countries. It's Executive Order 13769, and honestly, I support uh, Trump's travel ban, and I support the Supreme Court's decision. Let me explain why, okay? This executive order bans travel to Iran, Iraq, Syria, Libya, and Somalia, okay? Except un under special circumstances or for, or you have to get special permission to travel to these countries by the U.S. State Department, the U.S. government. Here's why, okay? Re um, Tucker Carlson, he had a guest, and the guest name was Rahil Raza, and she is Muslim, and she supports the travel man. And the reason she gave with Iran, Iran has declared war on the U.S., and they still do. And so we're technically at war with Iran. So the president has a right to ban people from traveling to a country that we are at war with, okay? And these other countries, she said, radicalization is a huge problem in these countries. These countries are war-torn. These countries, civil war is going on. The for safety reasons, the president has a right. Uh, the president should, she said, should um, ban people from traveling to these countries. It has nothing to do with Islamophobia or uh, prejudice against religion. It has to do for it has to do with safety of being concerned about the safety of one's citizens. If you're a leader of a country, now the reasons I'm going to give. Is in Somalia, what pirates will do sometimes is they'll hold foreigners hostage or tourists hostage or journalists hostage and try to get ransom money from people. And a lot of the Somali pirates have pledged allegiance to ISIS and the ISIS-like ideology. So in a way, if you let people travel there, it's unintentionally aiding and abetting the enemy. In the Philippines, Abu Sayyaf, who's in the island of Mindanao, they do that all the time. They take foreigners hostage and demand ransom money. So... State of emergencies could be issued in those situations to ban travel. There's nothing, there's nothing, Mr. Trump, President Trump didn't, didn't stretch the Constitution. He didn't extend his constitutional powers beyond what the Constitution sets. He did everything legally. And there's not much, this, the Supreme Court ruled one part out of the Trump travel ban, but there's the only thing they ruled out would be anything unconstitutional in that travel ban. That travel ban is constitutional, as the reasons that I've laid out. Anyways, hope everyone's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.